Hey friends, today I am hanging out at the Magic Kingdom. I'm meeting up with a friend from out of town and we're gonna have a fun day riding rides, eating some food. It is beautiful out. I am so excited. Let's go do this. The crowds are a little bit heavy today, but I'm happy seeing everyone taking their mask off and taking their photos with the castle. It's gonna be a great day because the weather is perfect. Honestly, some days I wake up and I look at the skies and I'm like, today would be a perfect day to go to Magic Kingdom. That's kind of how I felt this morning. I was like, wow, it is so nice out. Blue skies and almost no clouds in sight, just those little tiny spotted clouds. I love it though. Looking through all the wait times, the lowest wait, well actually the only ride that has under a 30 minute wait is the Tomorrowland Speedway. So I think that's where I'm going to start off. We're going to go for a little car ride. Standby entrance 20 minutes. Everything else has been above 30. Even some of the wait times are 50 minutes. I feel like I just came out and did these cars not too long ago. I love it. I actually love the one they have up in Hershey Park. It's not like this per se. Look at all these cars. This one's got its hood up. You can see the gasoline in there. Look at that. Oh wow, that is so nifty. You get a look right in there. I met up with my friend, Meg from Mickey's Magic. Hello. And we're gonna be riding together and you're gonna be driving. So it's kind of like driving Miss Daisy, but driving Mr. Morrow. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You're, yeah, you're gonna you're gonna be driving Mr. Morrow. I'm excited. Yeah. Okay. You I'll got be, this. I'll be a cautious driver. Oh no no, you can go wild and out. <laughs> hey. Distracted driving. Meg is a way better driver than I am. <laughs> I'm I I'd be like banging the guardrails like already. No, you're doing really good. I'm shocked. Oh, look, I'm, I'm gonna be. Thinking. Uh oh. We're passing them. We're passing you. Hello. On your left. On your left. Look at Tron. It's definitely coming along here. Oh my <laughs> here we go. Open her up a little bit. We got this. We're going to beat these people. <laughs> we got it. You're going down, 14. Coming in hot. I believe we were supposed to be one car distance away, but they backed up. <laughs> they backed up. That was so much fun and fancy. Meg was an excellent driver. Like I said, uh, she has a channel, Mickey's Magic. We're gonna be hanging out all day. But uh, it was nice actually just being able to take a grand tour of the Tomorrowland Speedway. Usually I'm the driver, so I got to sit back, relax, and kind of, uh, stare at all of the amazing construction of Tron. I mean, I cannot wait for that to open. Now I think we're gonna hop right on over to the Little Mermaid. I like how we're kind of doing all the rides that have a low wait time, and then that way, when it gets a little bit darker out, we can actually spend time waiting in queues. I think this one is a 20 minute wait, but it's looking like it's a walk-on at this point. Like, it's not too bad. Here we go, under the sea. Are you ready, Sam? Yeah. I'm that I see. Uh... What's this? <laughs> You've come to a stop. Mm. What's this? This is that sea witch. Mm. Listen to me. Stay seated in your clamshell while I get to the bottom of this. <laughs> <laughs> Doesn't she 
look terrifying. One of the best animatronics at Walt Disney World. Unfortunate souls. Ooh, look at there they are. There's the poor unfortunate souls. They're staring at us. Don't hit me! <laughs> Look at these ducks banging on the turtles' bellies. I've never noticed that before. They're playing a turtle. I also used to think that's Figment right there. I love King Triton now. Well, that was really nice. We ended up doing two rides in just about under an hour. The reason I say go with the lower weight times is because right now it's kind of like high sun, like high peak sun. So it's very hot out. If you plan on waiting in a long line, I'd rather do it a little bit towards the afternoon when it's a little bit cooler because a lot of these places, it's all outdoor queues and there's no shade, especially mine train. See, it's very, very hot out here. And they have like these umbrellas, but they don't even cover the queue per se. So you're just baking under the sun. So that's why if we wanted to wait, a 40 minute wait, I would wait and do it until like four or five o'clock because it's gonna be 40 minutes then too, or 50 minutes. We got stopped by a cavalcade and it's a kingdom of dreams. All the princesses. Oh, look at there's Ariel. And then Mulan, look at that. I don't think I've seen Mulan before. That is really fancy. I think they like your ears, Meg. Look at, oh wow. <laughs> I think they like your ears. Looks like the Haunted Mansion is about a 30 minute wait. So I think we'll jump on that. And that'd be nice because it'd be able to cool down and just relax a little bit. Always a good time riding the Haunted Mansion. Kindly moving. Oh. <laughs> The Haunted Mansion is the perfect ride to beat the heat and just enjoy and cool off. I think we're having such a fun day. It's all about the rides today and having fun. And it's nice when you have friends visit from out of town because she doesn't get to come down that often. So of course you want to do as many rides as possible. But at the same time, I want to share it with you guys and have a, you know, a fun evening or a fun Monday at Magic Kingdom, like I said earlier. Might as well make our round right on over to Adventureland. I wonder what Pirates of the Caribbean's at. Ooh. Actually, I see a lot of people waiting for pirates there. You see a lot, right? Oh. No, you know, no. Nope. <laughs> Looks like it's a pretty long wait and they actually added a whole bunch of uh, separators in the queue, so tons of switchbacks. I don't know if we're gonna wait for that one or hop in it, but wow. Oh, I know somebody we can ask. Hello, sir. Hello. How long is the wait for Pirates of the Caribbean? Snotty? No good? Long late? I don't know. Oh, I'll have to check. Oh, you can see it from there. 35 minutes. 
Cool, I appreciate that. Thank you, sir. <laughs> Jack says 35 minutes and it doesn't take long at all, but from the way the look, I mean, from the way the line looks, I don't know if I can believe him. He is a pirate. We're not gonna believe Jack Sparrow. So we're gonna go uh, to the Enchanted Tiki Room. Walt Disney's Enchanted Tiki Room. <laughs> I can't remember the last time I have done the Enchanted Tiki Room and I'm so excited. This is an original attraction. Like I said, Walt Disney's Enchanted Tiki Room. Oh, so, and it's gonna be cool. It's gonna be nice to just relax and cool off. This is going to be funner than New Year's Eve in an orange glow. Looks like we got the back row here. I like the back row because then you get to see these guys in action a little bit. And then also, you have a window seat. We got a window seat. Fancy. <laughs> Tiki 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 room in the tiki 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 room. Look, here come the girls. Now we present direct from the islands a musical lure. <laughs> oh wow, these guys are my favorite. And the more you anger them, the more scarier they look. Don't anger the tiki gods. They're watching you. The tiki room is such a relaxing ride. But you know what I think is really, really funny? The longest wait that I've seen all day today has been Jungle Cruise. 75 minute wait. End of the line. You wanna wait? No. <laughs> no good. I can't believe it is a 75 minute wait for Jungle Cruise. That's intense. And that's mostly outdoors too. So if you plan on waiting for that, I mean, you might as well just bring an umbrella at that point. I should start bringing an umbrella around. That's good for shade. This guy in front of me has got a good idea. And that's a huge umbrella. That's a great idea though. Now I feel like I've worked up a little bit of an appetite and I think I need to get something to eat But most places are absolutely chaotic at this point So I don't know if we're gonna try to do a quick service or see if we can get down at a sit-down restaurant We'll see what first available is actually And it looks like Tony's Town Square has a walk-up reservation. So I think we're going for that We're going all in on Tony's the reason we were able to get a walk up on such a busy day at the park is because I asked if we can sit outside. They have a lot of seats. A lot of people don't want to sit outside on a hot day. They want to sit inside. So if you have, you know, uh, a restaurant in mind that has outdoor seating and it's hard to get a reservation, just ask if you can sit outside and normally you're going to have the opportunity to do. And plus you get to sit here with this beautiful view. Look at this. All of Magic Kingdom and the happy people. Hi, how are you? <laughs> and just having a great day. 
one of my favorite things about dining at Tony's is you get to have a beer on the outside in Magic Kingdom. And it's just nice to be able to sit back and relax. They have some pretty good food. We got chicken Alfredo, shrimp Alfredo. We got some scampi pasta, a Tony's pizza pie. I don't recommend Tony's pizza. It's not that great. Chicken parm, and then even spaghetti with impossible meatballs. I actually might get spaghetti with the regular meatballs. I've been uh, in the mood for some spaghetti and meatballs. When the moon hits your eye like a big pizza pie. That's what I'm gonna go with is the spaghetti and meatballs, but I also wanna get the sausage because I wanna try them both. And uh, they said I can just kinda get like a double order or half and half. And I also got myself a Peroni. And this is what I was talking about, like how cool it is to sit here and you're drinking a beer outside in the Magic Kingdom. Like, I love it. It's almost like the closest you can get to having a beer on Main Street USA. So cheers. <laughs> Much too good for children. Oh. I love watching people first walk into the parks. They got their phones up and they're just mesmerized. I feel the same way sometimes walking down Main Street, but I remember the first time I came here, I was like, wow, it's amazing. You get a little bit of bread and oil uh, that comes out to the table. I love the bread and oil here. It's good stuff right here. I'm also wondering if I should get the tiramisu here, but I just had tiramisu at the Annapoli and that was amazing. So I don't know if it's gonna be as good here. Maybe we'll find out for educational purposes only. Sitting here, I see the Omnibus sign right there. And I have to say, I really miss the Omnibus and also all of the other Main Street vehicles. It was so cool to come here for like park opening and taking a ride down Main Street USA on the double-decker bus. I really loved it. Hey, how are ya? Thank you. <laughs> have a great day. Enjoy Magic Kingdom. Oh, that was really awesome. And holy moly, the food has arrived. Take a look at this. I mean, they really give you a whole bunch here. I was just looking to get like one sausage, one meatball, but they gave me two and two. That's a really big portion. And the meatballs are actually decent sized. I like it. And I like the little bowl, so it's very deep. You get a lot of pasta in there. Not too shabby, not too shabby at all. Gotta get that extra sauce, you know. You know how it is. I like it very saucy. <laughs> they don't give me any spoons. How am I supposed to eat the spaghetti without a spoon? Any of you guys actually eat spaghetti with a spoon? I've always been turned, I've always been taught to turn, like spin the spaghetti in my spoon. So I don't know what I'm gonna do here. I'm gonna have to just loop. See, no spoon. Okay. We're gonna have to figure this out. What we're gonna do is, we're gonna try the meatball first. So we're gonna take a little meatball, cut right here. There we go. Oh, that's a good meatball. Okay, then we're gonna fork it off there and we're gonna grab a little bit of this and we're gonna swirl and twirl with the meatball. Perfect. That's how you do it. <laughs> oh, don't wanna make a mess here now. That's a pretty good meatball. I really, really like it. It's very firm, very, very tough. I like it. Now I wanna dive into the sausage though, cause the sausage does look good. The pasta is okay. I mean, it's not like fresh, fresh pasta, but I mean, it'll do, it'll do. And uh, the marinara is uh, not the greatest, but I mean, I you know, you really can't complain. It's a good meal and uh, you're paying for the experience. I mean, you're paying for the view right now I mean come on that's that's unbelievable don't mind if I do <laughs> very interesting I have to say I like the sausage better than I like the meatballs I mean I ordered it like half and half I was trying to get one on one so maybe they can't do that but next time if I do order this I'm definitely getting the sausage I really actually enjoy the sausage a lot so Take a look at that as we're eating our spaghetti and meatballs 
It looks like Mickey and his friends are up there saying goodbye to everybody. They're not going to do any more cavalcades, but this would be a good spot to actually sit and watch the cavalcades. That's really nice. I think I'm going to get the tiramisu. I need to know if it's decent tiramisu because, like I said, I love the Annapolis tiramisu. So, uh, I think I get, I'm, I'm going to have to do it. But one thing that really uh, kind of, like, boggles me is you see that I was trying to keep my shirt nice and clean right and I was wearing this now watch when I take this away what happened here how how did that happen and take a look at this it definitely looks fancier wow I don't even know what to say about it I wasn't expecting uh Tony's to come up with like such a good looking dessert well, we have to try it first, though. I mean, that's the ultimate test. I even though I do like to spin it around. You spin me right round, baby, right round, like a tiramisu, right round, round, round. The only thing is, I see a, a big lack of lady fingers in here. I don't know. We'll see how it goes. Why don't they give me such a little spoon? Good. Wow, it's not bad. It's not bad at all, actually. There is actually two different types of tiramisu there is a very sweet and also a very savory and it all comes down to the cheese you know what i mean how heavenly sweetened it is and this one i feel like is more on the savory side you don't taste much of the coffee but you do get a little bit of a cheeser taste and uh yeah it's actually a, a, a decent tiramisu in my opinion, Via Napoli is definitely a better tiramisu. It's probably a, a better Italian restaurant in general. I mean, Tony's is okay, but you know, the, the food isn't the, the best, but you're, like I said, you're paying for the experience. Now, it doesn't say that I hate this restaurant. I recommend everyone to come and actually try dining out here and just enjoying this view because I think that is like the coolest aspect of it. Like honestly, I, I, I talk about it all the time saying one of the best things you can do is just relax and hang out on Main Street USA and people watch and to do that here eating pastas and tiramisu and drinking beer it's like top notch top notch and how did I get spaghetti sauce all the way over here I don't know what's happening it must be when I was slurping it and trying to be the romantic lady in the tramp like noodle kiss but it was just myself <laughs> oh but now I am so full. Tiramisu was good. Like I said, everything here is really, really awesome. I love it. It is a dining experience. That's what you're going with. And uh, yeah, I really think people should try it. You know, it's really fun. And like I said before, if you try to get a reservation right now, you wouldn't be able to get a reservation. But look at all these tables available outside. Like nobody wants to eat outside. It's too hot for that. So you just come up and be like, hey, you guys uh, got anything open outside? And more than likely, you're just gonna be able to walk right in without a reservation. The inside of the restaurant is really pretty too. Look at all of this artwork here. I actually met the artist that did all of this artwork at the uh, Festival of the Arts. I, I think he was in my video actually and we were talking to him and uh, I was like, wow, that's so cool. He did all of the art inside Tony's Town Square and I was like, did you do, we are Siamese if you please. And he said, yes, I did. I'm also a little baffled how I still ended up getting marinara sauce all over my shirt. I'm telling you, like I tried to like eat like, you know, sometimes you gotta slurp up the pot and that's what was happening. I was trying to be fancy and it didn't work out. And uh, yeah, I got a spaghetti shirt. I had a spaghetti stain on my white t-shirt or a black one. <laughs> If you recall, a couple of weeks ago, I did a video about the Chapeau Hat Shop closing. And there was a little controversy on whether or not it's coming back or if it's just closed for refurbishment. But I don't think it is coming back. I know they're going to extend the confectionery, but they also took away the sign that was hanging. And I was like, why would they do that? So over here in the theater, this is where you can get your hats embroidered. But one thing I wonder is, why are they still out of date on these fedoras? Usually they have like a Disney fedora for every season and they've been pushing these Halloween ones for a while. The Haunted Mansion one, I have one of these, I love it. And I wear it during the Halloween season, but I need a new summertime hat. Like I said before, they took away the sign that was hanging. There was a gigantic pink hat. I want to show you real quick. And why would they take that away? They're not refurbishing the outside. They're just doing the inside. So that's why I'm like, I don't think it's coming back. I think it's just literally going to be all the confectionery all the way down. 
if you take a look at the video now this was the last day and you see that little hat there that was hanging the pink one that said chapeau hats it's gone it's not even there anymore that makes me so sad i hope whatever they do with this stuff i hope it gets preserved you know i hope somebody gets to collect it save it i, I wish i could open up a disney museum i would do that i would never charge a dime i would literally just have people come see things from the parks from the past and it would be amazing all the windows are also blacked out so you can't even see what's going on in there can't see nothing Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. It was great to hang out with uh, Meg. I haven't seen her since last year. Actually, Meg was the last person I hung out with in the parks when they closed down. How crazy is that? And her, that's her first time being back since then. So it was great to hang out and ride some rides. And uh, check out her channel. It's Mickey's Magic. I'll put the link uh, for her channel in the description. Also check out Sam's channel. She was hanging out with us for a little bit. Uh, and she does a lot of live streams. And it was just a fun day overall. I had so much fun. And I hope you enjoyed the video. I enjoyed making it. We'll see you next time. Bye. Might be pretty enough that we stop and enjoy a sunset before we go though. Oh yeah, I'm feeling it. Oh boy, and now just watching the sunset and this song comes on, this is just priceless. I love it. I love Magic Kingdom and I love Walt Disney World. The only thing that could make it just a little bit better is if the monorail just drove by at the moment. Oh, never mind. Here she comes. Watch when you see the sun reflecting on the side of the monorail. Isn't that beautiful?